Richland County continues to ask for more poll workers, poll worker volunteers for November's election. Some of you have reached out to News 19 saying you volunteered and you haven't heard anything back. News 19's Jacob Reynolds asked the county for an update. After long lines, confusion over polling locations, and some voters casting ballots near midnight in Richland County June's primary, Rochetta Sumter said she felt inspired to volunteer, but her poll worker application was never answered, so she tried again. At the end of June, and I applied again, and I got the same message that I'll get an email, um, a call, but I have received nothing back, no confirmation saying that they received my application to um, be a poll manager, but no acknowledgement of nothing. Voter Registration and Elections Board Chairman Charles Austin says they know many have applied. He says they have not gotten to them yet after dealing with the primary and runoff, but will soon. But we're keenly aware of um, the number of people uh, that have applied. We realize that there has been a lag time in the response, but uh, we also uh, are feeling very confident that uh, we will be able to be initiate that process, the contact process. Uh, I would suggest that if not this week, uh, beginning next week. Austin says the county's new elections director, Alexandria Stevens, has a plan to coordinate and recruit volunteers. Stevens' first official day was July 6th. Sumter says she would still be willing if the county reaches out. Um, I would be still willing to do it because we need people out there to vote so those extra precincts can be open, so people can, you know, want to stand in line and get their voices heard. You can apply online at scvotes.gov. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Chairman Austin says if potential volunteers still haven't heard anything about their application in the next few weeks to call the county election office and ask for the director. Still ahead today on...